Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Shalwa here. I'm going to be today. I want to do a review on a photography app that I use or that I found recently, um, and it's called Adobe Photoshop Express. Right? He has a chair in the left corner there. Just open that up now. For those of you who enjoy taking pictures with your iPhone. Um, and once and, it, who, and if you want to edit it on the fly, you know, instead of downloading the picture to your computer or your laptop or your Mac, you can edit it here on the phone. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through some of the basic things, some of the basic settings and filters. It's not a, it's not the advanced version. You can't do advanced editing, sorry, for um, like you can on the on on the desktop version, but for a for a mobile photography app, it's probably the most powerful app I've seen so far for the iPhone. You could probably probably do get more powerful ones that I haven't seen yet, but for now this does what I what I wanted to do. So let's open a picture here. Go through some of the um, some of the uh, the settings. Let's have a look here. Uh, Okay, let's open up one of the photographs here. Okay, so all you do is you, you select your photograph that you want to open. Um, it'll then open it in the Photoshop app like you see here. Uh, you can tap the screen and you've got a editing option. You see the little pencil here? Right, oh, there it's gone. The little pencil, right? You push that and it brings up all the editing options. Okay, over here you've got your normal... Um, Editing options here. You got your brightness here. You can control. Oh, let's open that up. Exposure. You can control brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, tint. Now, exposure for those of you who aren't familiar, but if you're an iPhone photographer or photographer in general, then you should know what exposure means. Expo the exposure is just um, the brightness, basically. So I'll show you now. So all you do is you click on exposure. It comes up with a little handy tip. It basically says. Okay, basically says slowly slide your finger up or down over the image to adjust the exposure level. So you say dismiss. All you do is I'm going to do this with my thumb because I'm holding the camera. You hold it down. You see the little slide bar to my left of my thumb. And you slide it up. And you can see the image getting slightly brighter. Or down. And you can see it getting darker. Okay, if that's, if that's not the effect you want, you click on the little cross in the corner here. And it'll return the image back to its normal state. Okay, here you've got your normal um, filters: your black and white, colorize, sketch, soft focus, sharpen. Soft focus is basically just makes the image a lot more crisp, a lot more clearer. Um, and then over here in the, in the far right corner of the app, you've got the three little stars, and then you've got your borders and your effects. So if you click on effects. <clears throat> got a whole list of effects now some of these you have to purchase they're not all free this top right here they're all free but yeah you got like and I don't know if you can see that you can't see that too clearly though and you just scroll across and you got the different apps you've got vintage so if I want to use soft focus sorry vintage vintage blur say so dismiss and all that does I don't know if you can see that but around the edges here it's just it blurs the, the outside edges a bit. See if I can't focus that in a bit. Can you can create? Right. See if this helps. At the bottom here, I don't know if you can see this here. See this little icon here. You can switch between. You can see what the original image looked like and what the image looked like after the the editing has been applied. So you just click and hold it like that. I don't know if you can see that now, right? See it's in focus there, and then it's not around the edges here, right? I'll do it again. See? And then it's out of focus. That's all it does. It's actually a, a very unique um, option that's there. 
and uh, if, that's, if that's what you want you click the little tick in the bottom left corner there sorry over there and it saves it okay so and if you don't want that you can click cancel and it oh, you actually want to exit the app if you don't want that you can see this little arrow here click that and it'll take it back take the image back to its original effect when you load it into the uh, into the app um, and I think that's gonna that's about gonna do it for for today's um, review I'll put a link in the description below uh, so you can go and have a look at the app for yourself um, don't forget if you found this review helpful uh, hit the like button maybe go ahead and favorite it leave a comment uh, actually I want you guys to tell me down in the comments below I want you guys to tell me what your favorite photography app is to use for the iPhone. It can be for the iPhone 3G, like I'm using. Yes, I know that's old. The iPhone 4, 4S, or even the new iPhone 5. Go ahead in the comments down below. Tell me what you think about, about your favorite app that you use. And uh, I'll go ahead and have, have a look at it and then see what it's like. Don't forget, uh, next week, the f first week of November more or less, they, um, Apple is going to be releasing the new iTunes 11. Um, I will be doing a review on that, so keep an eye out on, on that. Uh, maybe go ahead in the comments and leave, uh, leave a comment about what, what certain aspects of the new iTunes you want me to review. Um, but I'm going to just, I'll just do a general overview. Maybe I, I, may, I may compare the old iTunes, I think it's 10.7 with uh, version 11. If it will allow me to install the two different versions, I don't think it will. I think it will, if I install iTunes 11, it will just upgrade my current version. Um, but from what I've seen on Apple's website, it, they've really they've really stepped it up a notch. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, so stick around for that. That will be next week sometime, hopefully, or, or whenever they release it. I know they're releasing it in November. Hopefully, it will be in the first week of November. Um, so, you know, if you found this uh, app helpful or this review uh, helpful um, go ahead and smash the like button down below leave a comment subscribe and uh, don't forget to leave your comments below about what your favorite photography